If you're confused about when to use this octave key, how it works, why the key at the top sometimes goes up and sometimes doesn't go up, this video is for you. I'm going to clear up all confusion for you. I'm going to take you through how the octave key works step by step, starting with just showing you where it is, okay? So you got to look on the back of your saxophone here and it's right here above the thumb rest so sometimes the thumb rest is a different color sometimes it's made of plastic sometimes the octave key looks differently but basically the octave key is this key here that moves up and down and then starts to move this octave key up here at the top. So I'm going to talk more about how all of this works. My name is Alexander Mathias from saxophonemasterclass.com and you're in the right place if you're a beginner on the saxophone trying to figure out how it works and want to start playing your favorite songs as soon as possible. But if you want to go even deeper on how to start learning the saxophone, check out my Saxophone Mastery Secrets webinar. It's completely free. Go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets and you're going to learn all about my saxophone mastery system and how that's going to help you learn and master the sax. So check it out, there's a link below this video. So when do you start using the octave key? Well, let me just show you what the notes sound like without the octave key, and then I'll show you when to start using the octave key on the sax. So when you're first learning the saxophone, you don't press the octave key, you just rest your thumb against this thumb rest here, and we could start on the note G and play that first. <laughs> So when you're first starting, you should practice these notes here, G, A, B, C, and as you're going lower, you want to start pressing these keys, F, E, and D, and then as you get even lower, you get down to low C, and these low notes down here, these spatula keys on the side. But as a beginner, you want to actually be focusing on this middle range, starting on G, A, B, and C, and those four notes sound like this. But as we go higher than the C or the C sharp, which is all the fingers up like this, we want to actually start pressing the octave key with the rest of the fingers down. So that's when we start using the octave key above the C sharp. That's when we need to start pressing the octave key to play higher on the saxophone. When we're going up from C sharp to D or C to D, we want to use all fingers in the left hand, all fingers in the right hand, and the octave key, that's the correct fingering on the saxophone for that D note. So we play all three fingers in the left, three fingers in the right, and now we press this octave key on the back. So as we play that D with the octave key, we're gonna notice that this octave vent up here doesn't actually rise up, and that is not a mistake. I'm gonna show you which key is actually opening up when you press the octave key when you're playing a D note. So it can be hard to see, but when we press the octave key and the D note, this is the key that rises, not the octave vent on the top. And it stays that way all the way up to G sharp. So I'm gonna play all those notes. And the whole time it's only this key that raises when we press the octave key. When we go up to A with two fingers in the left hand and the octave key, that's when this top vent begins to open. So we can play all the way from D to G sharp and this octave vent is not going to open. This octave vent never opens until we get to A. And then as we keep going higher, that octave vent stays open. As soon as we go back to G sharp, the octave vent closes and then that side vent opens again. So this side vent closes when the top one opens. Okay, so we're going from the side vent opening to the top vent opening and the side vent closing and vice versa when you go back down. So that is how the octave key works. There's actually two different octave vents that are opening and closing as we go higher on the instrument as we press the octave key. So I hope that clears things up about when the octave vent is supposed to open. It's only from the high A and above, and that includes going higher and higher using those palm key fingerings as well. That octave vent is gonna stay open the whole time, that top octave vent. 
So I really hope that clears things up for you. If you want to learn more about how to start learning all these different fingerings, how to start getting a great tone on the saxophone, check out my Saxophone Mastery Secrets webinar. It's completely free. Just check out the link below and go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash secrets. That's going to give you so much good information about how to start mastering the sax step by step, even if you're just a beginner. Now, if you're still confused about all the different fingerings on the saxophone, especially those higher notes, check out this next video where I show you all the different palm key fingerings step by step and you can also download my fingering chart absolutely free go and check out that video right now and until next time my friend have a great day have a great week and happy playing